Out of this world, alien abductions, unidentified flying objects, even talks about extraterrestrial activities at the very highest levels of government. No, not the latest screenplay by Hollywood, but the contents of official British government papers, which are being revealed for the very first time today in London by the National Archives. It was known as the War of the Worlds incident. It's 1967 the height of the space race and the Cold War. Six flying saucers were found in a straight line right across southern England. Police and bomb disposal teams responded and the RAF received numerous calls. But it was all an elaborate student hoax. It's just one of thousands of reports, sightings and encounters released online by the National Archives today. The biggest disclosure of declassified documents so far. These documents show absolutely beyond doubt that over many, many years, uh, Ministry of Defence officials, uh, government ministers and defence intelligence staff have treated the UFO issue seriously. They revealed that UFOs were being discussed at the very highest levels in the 70s, including the United Nations in New York and a debate in the House of Lords. And RAF tornado jets almost collided head on with what they believed was an unidentified flying object. Should be able to see Mercury low in the southwestern sky. But for some, there's always a rational explanation. I think some of the weather organizations are responsible for some of these sightings. Um, our cloud searchlights, our cloud-based recorders, shining lights onto clouds, have probably been the cause of some reports. Plus, don't forget the weather blooms. That may not satisfy the people who sketched these images following their incredible sightings, pictures, locked away in government vaults for years, but now unveiled. So for those who still believe, the truth is out there. <laughs> well, 